All right, one of our favorites, Tony Lafreda is back, Vice Chairman, RBC Wealth Management. We're taking a look at the markets, the time of year, our Canadian economy, basically everything. Tony, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be back. Thank you for having oh, me. We love seeing you. And we want to talk, first of all, about is it a good time to, in, like in general, is this a good time to invest, do you think? Well, it's hard to, to say, is it a good time? It's always a good time. And it's... Um, you know, like the great investor Warren Buffett used to say, it's good to start with a Warren Buffett quote on a Monday morning, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's difficult to time the markets. It's not timing the markets, but time in the markets that counts. So time it is a, in the markets. In the markets. Okay. So over time, if we look at history, which is the best predictor of the future, mm -hmm. we hope. And um, since the early 1900s, the stock markets have had a return of 4 to 6% above inflation. Right. So, so adjust, like adjust for dividends. Yeah. And you're, you're above 9%, mm -hmm. right? So it's a, you've got to look at it long term. You've got to look at it long term. Yeah, it's so not it's like always if, a good time to invest. Yeah, so you're not, if you're looking to make a quick buck, maybe think it again, think it over again. If you're in long term, if you're investing, investing for the long term, better idea. Well, well, the stock market, many people look at it and panic when the market is very volatile, mm -hmm. right? And they panic when, and I've always said, the market always comes back. So be patient. It's time in the market that counts. And uh, you've got to look at it long term. So it depends on your needs. Is it a good time to invest? Yes, it okay. always is. Speaking of investing, now is it like a time of the year also people are thinking RSPs or TFSAs? What, is, what do you recommend? Who is better for? I mean, the, first of all, the tax-free savings account is the TFSA and the RSP is the RSP. So what would you recommend to who in particular? Like, do you have to have a lot of money to be doing these things? What should you be doing? Well, you should take advantage as much as you can of both. Now, it depends on your age, depends on your financial, plan, situation. your financial, yeah. financial situations, on your plans in life. I mean, the tax-free savings, savings account, the TFSA, you can invest. The capital gains are not taxed, and, uh, but there's no deduction when you do invest in a TFSA. As mm -hmm. opposed to an RSP, there is a tax deduction, and then when you do withdraw the, the RSP, you're, you're taxed. Right. So, so it depends you know, where you are at your cycle in life. You know, are you looking to buy a home? And uh, you could invest in your RRSP and then with the tax savings, put it in your TFSA. Oh, wow. That's, you can make them sort of like so, work together. So do both. Yeah. Do both. Interesting. And eventually catch up on your TFSA because, I mean, tax is a big issue when it comes to returns, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Canada, right? We are in a particular moment, a very curious moment, uh, because the political situation is affecting uh, the economy right now. We just looked at the renegotiation of NAFTA, now called the USMCA. Uh, things are not going well with China. Things are going so-so with, uh, with our neighbors to the south. Are we in a good place economically right now in Canada? Yes. Uh, optimists always yeah. have higher <laughs> returns. I love that. I've okay. based my life on optimism. Okay. And uh, so if, you take, if, you take, if you take the greatest investors, they yeah. have to be optimists yeah. because they, you know, it will bounce back and will do well in our economy. We're forecasting a GDP growth of 1.7% mm -hmm. in 2019 with two interest rate increases in Q3 being one and Q4 being another. So the another. interest rates are going up? 25 basis points in Q3 and 25 basis points in Q4. Okay. But that, you know, you depends on the economy. It's not a static process. We can't say today it'll happen for sure. It's a dynamic process. Depends how the economy performs from now to then, the Bank of Canada will act accordingly. But, but the economy, 1.7% yeah. GDP growth, usually we look for a growth of 3% on the GDP and 2% on inflation. Okay. We're forecasting 1.7% on GDP and 1.6% on inflation. So, so the economy is still doing well. Like we're, not, we're, not, we're not in a recession, Joanne. We're not in a recession. Okay. We're doing well. And if energy were to pick up, We'll, we'll do a lot better, right? Energy comes yeah. into play there, right? Yeah. I have to ask you, though, when you mentioned the interest rates going up, uh, what does that mean to, like, to, to people who are homeowners, who have, you know, a mortgage? Who's going to be, is anyone going to be hit hard if the interest rates do go up twice, as you said? Like, who's, who's going to have to tighten that belt? Well, you'll, you'll have to plan accordingly with the stress tests, right? They come into play, and that's a whole different technical calculation. And, uh, but is it going to be less a, people buying homes, maybe, or less well, the spending Montreal, power? If we look at the Montreal economy, well, Toronto and Vancouver, we all know, we all have seen those numbers, and mm -hmm. there's been a, it's, there will be a soft landing in real estate in Canada. Montreal's doing well. Mm -hmm. We're forecasting 4% price increases in Montreal, for 2019. Wow. So if you look at the real estate market in Montreal, and I'm sure you've heard it and your viewers have heard it with yeah. all the lists, uh, with it's all their booming. friends, yeah. it's, it's booming at this point in time. We haven't seen it uh, 
you know, booming at these levels for a very long time. 4% mm -hmm. price increase in Montreal in 2019, that is significant. And if we look at unemployment, very low unemployment, right? We're looking at the 6% in the city and uh, almost at record lows. So we're looking at good unemployment. We're looking at a educated population mm -hmm. uh, for universities here in Montreal. We're looking, I so I think Tony, uh, there's, Tony, there's, so there's, a lot, there's a lot to be optimist <laughs> about. But uh, the economy, you know, there's always challenges. Yeah. And uh, I mean, what, what are the challenges you're looking at? And we'll answer those questions. I, mean, I, I, I was, we've run out of time, but I was going to ask you, like, because we're, we're dealing with the SNC La Ballet, we're dealing with so many things. There's a lot of stress coming up, all of this leaning, leading towards the election. You were going to say the economy is going to be front and center. So, you know, yeah. we've always had challenges. Yeah. In the 80s, it was, in, it was inflation yeah. and interest rates being 20%, the 90s real estate, 2000 the technology. We've always had challenges yeah. and today is no exception. We will, you know, overcome these challenges. The economy will keep doing better. We don't foresee a recession in 2019. Yeah. And uh, which is a, uh, a positive note to end on. Speaking of positive notes, you have Concert Against Cancer, by the way, happening March 29th at the Place des Arts. Yes. Are tickets still available? Tickets are still available, and yeah. uh, it's uh, March 29th. It's a Place des Arts. I'm the president of the Concert Against Cancer for the Montreal Cancer Research, yeah. uh, for the Montreal Cancer Institute. And uh, it's for research, cancer research. I've been doing it for 10 years as president. I have to say and I wonder, I wonder, you know, sometimes I said that it's for a great cause. And, yeah. uh, and if you can help, if anybody can help, it's a great concert. Uh, we're doing Pink Floyd this year. Wow. And, uh, uh, not Pink Floyd being there, I but it'll know, be a I band. Know. The tribute and, band. A tribute band. And uh, it's for a great cause. Tony, Tony is always involved in all the best causes. Tony Lufred, again, Vice Chairman, RBC Wealth Management. Thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Joanne. And always thank, a pleasure. And thank you for bringing the optimism uh, to our morning. Be positive. Be positive. <laughs> Stay tuned. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. Thank you.